Okay, mathematicians, welcome back. So for today's number sense routine, we are going to be doing a number string featuring the number sentence 3 plus 8 plus 7. And I'm hoping you remember not to shout out. Just because if you are working with someone at home, it's not fair to cheat someone out of some thinking time. You know that we really want to be respectful of other people's thinking time. So take a moment to first think about it in your head, how you would solve this number sentence. Maybe what friendly numbers you would want to make. Okay, quickly turn and talk and tell the person next to you your strategy for solving this. Okay, let's come back together. So I'm thinking, since we have been emphasizing, that means putting a lot of importance on making friendly numbers, a lot of you might have seen that if you use your number facts, especially those of making tens, you might have remembered that 3 plus 7 makes 10, and use that to solve this in your head. So I'm thinking a lot of you went, wait, 3 plus 7 makes 10, and then just had to add the 8 at the end to get your answer of 18. Give me a thumbs up if you solved it that way. Maybe you solved it a different way, but still try to make a, th a, sorry, a 10. Maybe some of you did this to solve that number sentence, where you had the 3, and then said, wait, I can make a 10 with the 7, and you might have added 7 more, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to get to 10, and then saw your 8, counted 8 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, to get to 18, or maybe that's something similar, but instead of starting at 3, you might have started at 7, just because it would have been much more efficient to start with the larger number. Count it up 3 more, 1, 2, 3, got into 10, and then just add it 8 more to get to 18. Did I read your mind, mathematicians? Is one of your ideas represented on paper? If not, that's okay. It's so important to be as creative as you can with math, just as long as it makes sense to you. But we also want to practice the abilities to use our friendly numbers and number facts to solve our number sentences or whatever work that we are presented in an efficient way too. So let's practice the next number sentence in our number string today. So let's see. We did 3 plus 8 plus 7. Now let's see what you can do with the number sentence 9 plus 1 plus 2. Okay. I know you all probably saw that in your head already. You don't even need to turn to talk with the person next to you. But think in your head how your strategy for solving this number sentence might be similar or might be different to this number sentence. Think, what did you do that was the same? Maybe what did you do that was different? Okay, let's come back together. So I'm thinking, because of the way that the numbers are ordered in this number sentence, you probably just were able to really quickly add the two numbers right here, 9 and 1, to make a 10 and add two more. This was probably a lot easier and faster for you to do because the two numbers that make a 10 were right next to each other. So unlike this one where you kind of have to ignore the first number, or sorry, the number in the middle to make a 10, in this one, the numbers that made a friendly number were right next to each other. So I'm thinking this is what most of you did. But again, some of you might have done something different and that's okay. Maybe you did this where you had the nine, kept it, and actually added the one and the two because maybe you know the trick with nines where you have number facts with nines already and you know that if you simply look at the last number, then you know that the digit it's going to be in the ones place when adding nines, it's just going to be one less. So what I mean is that if you take this number sentence, 9 plus 3, then you look at this digit that you're adding to the 9, you take away 1, so that would be 2, and since there is 
no um, number in the tens place, that means these are two single digits, then the number right here is going to be a one. It's a little bit of a trick. I'm pretty sure that if you talk to your parents or show them this, they will be able to explain it to you just because when we were in elementary school, this is something that our teachers taught us. I'm not sure how much emphasis we really want to put on this trick in first grade, but it is something that's pretty neat once you find out um, how to use this trick with nines. But anyways, so again, the variety in your strategies is important. It's not necessary for us to have the exact same thinking. We want variety in our thinking. So let's do the next number sentence. Four plus nine plus six. Ready? So think, what did you do to solve this number sentence in your head? How was your strategy for this maybe think, sorry, maybe similar or different? If you can, turn and talk with someone next to you. Okay, come back together. So again, if you were using your strategies of trying to use your friendly numbers, then you might have seen that four and six were in this number sentence. Remember that four plus six makes a 10. Use that knowledge and then just added the nine to it, which would give you 19. And maybe, just maybe, some of you were practicing that trick with the nines, so you might have done something like four plus, let's see, six, so that would be a five, two single digits, so that would be a one, and then counted on four more to get to 19. Maybe done something similar where you instead did the trick with the nines with the four, so that would be three, two single digits, that would be a one, added six more, one, two, three, four, five, six, to get to 19, which would lead you to your answer. Thumbs up if you see your thinking on paper, or on this sheet of paper. And then think to see what you did different, what you could do that's the same, or what ideas am I missing? Remember, we don't want you to have to feel like you need to use the exact same strategies that we're showing you in our videos, but we do want you to practice using different strategies. They don't have to be the same ones we show, but it is important to not just rely on the same strategy again and again and again. Your brain needs to be challenged and so I'm challenging you, again, to show a lot of different strategies when doing your work. It's going to really help you as a mathematician to be flexible in your thinking. Okay, well, thank you for working with me again today. I can't wait to work with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.